What's going on everyone, James Klug here. I wanted to do a different style video, um, kind of like a vlog in a way. We haven't done this yet and I figured I would show you guys kind of a little bit behind the scenes of how it looks when I go out reporting and covering protests and everything like that. Um, a lot, I know on my YouTube, that's not really something that I do that often. So uh, we're here, we just landed and we are in Portland, Oregon, headed over to an Antifa protest. It is a uh, Biden, 12 uh, guys whatever it is I'll put the ad right here for you guys so you guys can see this today's January 20th we're gonna go check out a protest all right sitting here waiting for my driver see when he comes. I believe they're starting the march at about three. Yeah, we're running about 15 minutes late. That's okay, maybe a 20 minute drive. Yeah, that's looking really dirty. That's okay, hopefully I don't have to put on a gas mask. This, that's not gonna seal right. <laughs> All right, pickups here. Bam. What's going on, man? How you doing? Good, you wanna be in the video or? <laughs> what was your name? Nate. Nate? Thanks yeah. for picking me up, Nate. Yeah, I appreciate pleasure. it, man. Fist bump. All right. Uh, I'll put this inside. All right, so we got Nate picking us up. All righty. Nate, pleasure to meet you, man. Yeah. Um, you're you're politically active in Oregon, right? Yes. And what do you what do you do over here? Uh, I just do local activism for the most part. I did some time with, in leadership with Young Republicans, nice. and I'm kind of taking a hiatus from that, but I still stay involved. Really appreciate that. Thank you for picking me up as well. So we are headed over to. We're actually going directly to the protest right now. We're probably gonna, you know, he's gonna, Nate's gonna kindly drop me off uh, maybe a couple blocks down or something like that. I'm meeting up with Jorge Ventura, Julio Rosas, and um, stay tuned for some coverage, you guys. All right, everyone, so I showed up a little bit late. Julio and uh, Jorge were already there, or Julio and George, I think I already referred to him as, and Antifa ended up attacking Democrat, or Oregon Democrat HQ office. Uh, shattered all the windows, everything like that. Check out this footage, this is pretty wild. All right, after the quick Antifa protest, we are gathering for some food, gentlemen. <laughs> Go ahead, we got the wizard pipe. We got George Ventura. Yeah, wizard pipe, man, that's what, that's There that's we the, go. Right, Everyone, this is Julio guys. Rosas, there we go. Hey, Kelly. Couple dogs, that's me right there, couple dogs. What are you hopping on tonight? Uh, Laura Ingram show. What happened earlier today with Antifa? Yeah, no, they, they there's a lot of, events happening coinciding with Inauguration Day and so uh, one of the marches uh, didn't have exactly any idea where they were going to go and they just ended up at the Democratic Party headquarters and so naturally they attacked it because of course they did they put they like at first they were spray painting it they're spray painting the windows and such it said like Biden and the anarchist symbol and then people started breaking the windows and started trashing the place so pulling dumpsters out into the street um, Someone called the popo. Well, the, well, well, the cops were following close behind, and so once the, the cops realized that, oh, they're doing this, and so then <laughs> that's when they, <laughs> that's when the police came and the group scattered. Yeah, you guys, the place was literally destroyed, window shattered, graffiti everywhere. I'll play the clip for you guys. We're gonna dig in right now, and we're gonna head back out tonight. Hey, look, these communists can make a mean hot dog. All right, I'll give them that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's not like the impossible mean, where like they just faked you out. Hey. That's a perfect fake, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're back at the Portland Democratic HQ. We have Julio Rosas and George Ventura over here. Julio's hopping on Laura Ingram right now to talk about what happened earlier today. So you guys, this is pretty much just a behind the scenes of how this all goes down. You get the footage, companies or channels reach out to you, you hop on and you talk about it. Now, um, Julio is with uh, Town Hall Media, George is with Daily Caller, but all sorts of 
news organizations will reach out for comments, um, you know, to have them on their show. So right now they're hopping on Fox News. One thing is for sure that the, the Antifa groups here, they do not like Biden. Uh, just as much as they don't like Trump, they kind of view him as one of the same. And so they want a revolution. Julio, good work, my man. How do you feel? Oh, uh, you know, it's just so hard being me. I'm just constantly on primetime TV. You just have to <laughs> shove off the producers being like, no, I can't do it tonight. And not tonight. I have a headache. <laughs> this guy's full of it. News hits are out of the way. We're gonna cruise out to another Antifa gathering tonight. I'm not really sure what direction this is gonna be going in. We have word that they're headed to the ICE uh, facility. So we'll see what happens. Check in soon. This is the Portland Police Bureau. To those gathered near the ICE facility, we have observed property damage. And graffiti is subject to arrest for citation. Criminal conduct may be subject to use of force, including but not limited to crowd control agents and attack weapons. Back on the sidewalk. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, big man. Good boy. Here you go. Here you go. Come on. You can do it. Damn. Say hi to the body cam, you guys. That was a, a, a success. Yeah, that was good. Holy crap. All right, you guys, that is it for tonight. Probably a lot more than I personally was expecting. I know the other guys were ready for it. Julio, you want to make some comments? Yeah, no, no well, I just, there was one. You, you, want, you want to be on camera or not right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right.
there's this one guy that was in an apartment where everything was happening, and they made your mama joke to Antifa, and they <laughs> they couldn't they didn't know what to do because the guy was black, and so. You know, they couldn't throw the racism card, but it was really fun. I, props to that guy. There were people, I mean, they thought like officers were driving by, but it was pedestrians. They were like fighting with people in the street, uh, arguing with them. There's a, a guy, that, a tall, tall uh, black gentleman, security guard, they all thought was a police officer. So they were all like hitting on his car. He got out of his car and started, you know, like he was, he was, he was face to face with people arguing. Um, everything was heated. I mean, it, it was all heated. There was parts where it kind of calmed down a bit. And then, I mean, we had uh, the first set, oh, the first set of tear gas deployed. How many, how many sets of tear gas? <laughs> how, many, how many rounds? Uh, I mean, at least over 50, I would say, 50. 50. Give or, give or take, I mean. Kind of hard. I mean, they were just pop. They were just popping them off, popping them off. So, you guys, I want to make this video just so you can kind of see a little bit behind the scenes of like street reporting and stuff like that when it comes to protest coverage, riot coverage. Um, I don't, I don't know if they declared tonight a riot, but it was an unlawful assembly. It was. A, it, they said it was an unlawful assembly. So uh, there was DHS there. There was uh, what was it? Well, the Portland Police Bureau came out. The, the second PPV one. then. Yeah, PPV. There you go. There you go. A lot of officers, a lot of backup, a lot of riot gear, and a lot of you know harassing officers, antagonizing officers. Um, it was a it was a tense situation. At, at one point too, we were wearing you know I was wearing a gas mask, and um, there was so much tear gas that I was actually having trouble breathing. Some of it's on my clothing, so I'm, it's it's a little bit spicy in this car right now. Uh, George, any comments from you, man? Uh, just another night in Portland. Just another night in Portland. <laughs> so James, you shot some amazing video. Why don't you take me through what you were seeing, who do you think it was, and, and ultimately what in the world is their motive with this nonsense? 